memory players. This week's go, for me, it just flown by. It doesn't seem a minute since we were together. <laughs> so nice to see you. It's been lovely. I've had a busy week. I've, I've, since last week's stream, I've been inspired by some of the comments and the things the artwork people have been sharing so that's what I've been doing today this week <laughs> working on some bits and pieces inspired by everyone in the chat and welcome welcome we players so here is the friendship heart <laughs> the friendship yeah the, the friendship star sorry the friendship star and that's done on quilting and replayers. I'm going to be chatting to the live chat as well, and I'll read it out. So just in case you can't read the chat if you're on replay or gently listening in the background. And I'm going to say hi to Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex has kept me busy. I was just saying to the replayers, Becky, that I've been kept busy this week from last week's stream. Becky's had me making ATC coins <laughs> and Janet, Janet USA has had me making friendship stars. Good morning, Becky. Recover from your trip to the zoo. <laughs> oh, and Kimberly and Beef. Good morning. So nice to see you. How does your garden grow I, on this sunny morning? Have you had rain yet, Kimberly? Here's lovely Becky W. Oh, I hope that you have time. You'll probably be arting with the children. I'm wondering whether they'll be joining us today because they're on their holidays. They're on, on summer vacation, should I say. And there's lovely Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn, how are you? And have you managed to get some sleep? Yeah. Yes, a star. It was a challenge because I'm not very good at maths or I'm not putting myself down. That's just, that's just me. Good morning, Alicia. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in, everybody, and just have a lovely rest. <laughs> we'll just have a nice chat together. There's Maria Kay. You're up really late. You wanted to catch us. Maria's in Australia. So nice to see you. Maria and I have been chatting in the comments this week. We've been inspired, haven't we? We, we've been inspired by Peg Fabric as well, haven't we? <laughs> and Patty, good morning, Patty. Come on in, come on in. Becky said she had a wonderful day at the zoo. Yes. Oh, there's Barbara. Barbara's saying hi to all the crew. Look at Freddie. He knows. He knows when the stream's about to start. He trots in and sits there. He loves his routine and so do I. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you had rain yesterday. That's great because I bet pumpkins need probably quite a lot of water. Do you have like an irrigation system or do you have to have a little watering can? Mm. It's going to be hot. I heard in the States it's going to be hot. Triple figures, did people say? Ali K, good morning. And there's Mrs. Gigi. Come on in. Oh, it's always lovely to chat here and it's lovely to chat in the comments. And here's Jean. Happy Monday. Jean, are you home safely now? Mm. Uh, oh, Aunt Beck says a fabric ATC coin swap could be fun. Yes, it could be fun. There's Janet. Janet B, or should I say Janet Canada? <laughs> we like to have lots of Janets in the chat, don't we? And there's Gail. Good morning, Gail A. Good, good morning, Gail Ann, I mean, and good morning to your little OB. <laughs> Maria's saying hi to everybody. It's your second time in chat, isn't it? Mm. And Barbara, Barbara says it's going to be 100 this Saturday. It's like Canada. I don't want to say the wrong thing. 
it's quite extreme, the weather. You go like really under freezing and now 100, which I don't know how to calculate it. Is it me? It's, I don't know, over 30. Oh, I'm not very good at that sort of thing. I'm missing Lynn. Good morning. Good day. Good evening, everyone. Here in New Brunswick, Canada. Oh, look, Canada. Um, Barbara, it's Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. Meet Lynn. Lynn, meet Barbara. Is this your first time in the chat, Lynn? So nice to see you. <laughs> come on in, come on in. You can see that we've got some creating to do today. Mm. Supposed to be in the 90s here tomorrow and Wednesday, and you could get storms. Goodness me. And here is Janet USA. Janet USA. A you did your prompt page and on your prompt page you because we've been talking about quilting you did a little drawing didn't you of and you did a little drawing of a friendship star so that got me that gave me the challenge then and I tell you I have been on a learning curve <laughs> thank you Janet <laughs> Karen, good morning. Nice to see you. Crafty Karen, come on in. Oh, lovely. And there's Kathy C. Oh, this is really lovely. Kathy's saying, good morning, C Janet and crafty friends. <laughs> Here with all my crafty friends. I love that. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh, Joyce, so lovely to see you. Oh, really nice to see you, Joyce. Come on in. There's Steph. Good morning, Steph. Steph saying good morning to Freddie. So we've got people as far flung as Croydon and uh, Canada and and um and Australia and here's Steph in Croydon. <laughs> Let's hear it for Croydon. Lynn Martin is stringing beads. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that sounds wonderful. You're getting an early start to the crafting, um, aren't you, Lynn? Straight in for Lynn. <laughs> There's Angie. Oh, oh, you're not at home. Angie's not at home, but she's saying hi. It's when you're out, you're on your data. Hi. Hi, Angie. So nice to see you. I trust that you're going to have a good day. Yes. And Anne, good morning, Anne. So nice to see you. Really nice. And there's, there's our, our Janice there getting ready for work. Good morning. Oh, and so good morning. You're knitting socks. I need to get back to my socks because I, I was waylaid with knitting my socks because I think I went out to visit my mum one time and Fred likes to pick up something to take to the window you're just a shoe or a ball of wool or something <laughs> that's fine but um he accidentally snapped the little bamboo needle and that is my excuse for not finishing the socks and i'm sticking to it i bought some more now <laughs> am i missing people i believe oh i've got to go up because i've missed somebody i clocked their name Oh, if you've just come in and said hi to me, it's Julia. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> Julia next door. <laughs> so nice to see you. <laughs> Let's hear it for Croydon. I think I, if I have missed you, because I, I don't like missing you. There's Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. So nice to see you. Oh, really lovely. Ah, <laughs> is that Ben? Did I? No. I oh there's Ben. I always miss you, Ben. Hi Ben. <laughs> you can't come over and craft today like we did on holiday. I've still got the little thing you made here on my desk. <laughs> you made a twinchy, didn't you? That was so nice. <laughs> I've got cookies, Ben. <laughs> oh dear. So nice to see you. <laughs> I'll be meeting Ben. We're going off for a walk to the park later. Don't forget, Ben. <laughs> oh dear, I'm, I'm going to meet Ben at 4.30 after the stream. Ruth, good morning. Ruth and I have been chatting in the comments. So when Janet did her little P 
picture of a friendship square. That got me thinking. So I started to make some. And I can you see the shape of the star? The contrast isn't as much there. Pam, Pam, good morning. Ah. Oh. Pam says, have a nice walk. Pam, have you had a nice Monday, Pam? Ah. Oh. I do hope you have, and you're settling down and relaxing in, for the, in the evening with us, aren't you? <laughs> so nice to see you, Pam. And hi to Misty. Misty's picture on the wall. Hi. <laughs> and right, yes, yeah, so I got, this was the first one I made, and I, it was a challenge because it involved a little bit of maths. And then I made another one. <laughs> and then. I made one with the two inch squares. So let me just, uh, just for, you will have to, I will put a link to how to make them, the, the squares, the, if you, if you're, if you are a quilter, I will leave a link to who, it was a, it was a really good channel to how I learned to do that. But today we're going to make little mini ones mini hearts with paper for those who like paper and fabric for those who like fabric and don't worry there's no measuring because we're just going to use the bits and the snippets so no <laughs> is it crafty karen you know about this i'm a beginner karen said it's some um, it, it's a popular um square and I, I can understand that and Ruth showed me a, a picture of a, a quilt that she'd made many years ago let me let me explain how the learning curve is oh dear um so say I started off with two and seven eighths in that square and then that's for that and then oh you have to take into account you have a seam basically basically see there we are i'm not doing the tutorial <laughs> no there'll be a link down below for that so i i have one for my quilt and if anybody else wants to i'll probably put the smaller one on maybe i i've got two more here so if anybody wants to um do like a little quilt blocks friendship quilt blocks I can't even say it. I've got my teeth in. A friendship quilting block swap. We could do that. And talking about friends and Corinne, there's Mel. <laughs> there's Mel Joy. Hugs to everyone, says Mel Joy. Oh, and Jean, good morning, Jean. Read a board. This is not a tutorial. Can you see that, Barbara? Yes. I've made that as clear as mud. Link below for <laughs> friendship quilt block swap. I'm in. And we can, yeah, just message me directly for that because um, because I am a beginner, even though I start with a certain size, they're, they're different. Yes, <laughs> they're different sizes. Janet USA, well, you, you are the one who's started all this <laughs> oh dear oh thank you Paul. thank you there's lovely da oh and, and and ruth too yeah i can make more because it's like anything you know when you do something and it just makes your brain ache the, the first one i made was it this one look it's 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 a bit out it's wonky, but it's it's a friendship star, so we, I, I, you know we can we can all forgive one another for the wonkiness, can't we? There's Heather. Good morning, Heather. So nice to see you. Oh, thanks, Patty. That's really kind of you. Thank you. So I'm going to put those there and do message me, and we'll chat. Oh, Margaret, how's life in London? Good morning. So nice to see you. Won't be long and no rush, but um, 
Oh, Janet B says that too up in Canada. Yeah, okay, well, do message me just in case I've missed anything. There's Carrie. Good morning, Carrie. Come on in. Come on in. That's lovely to see you. There's Peter over in Australia. Good evening, Peter. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ah, lovely. Right, so brilliant. So can you can you see how it's been a hive of activity here? So yeah, I made when I saw Janet's, I made a little note of what the shape was and then went on YouTube. But I'm thinking if you don't want to quilt just like Janet did in her journal, you could make a little friendship star for your journal or for a postcard. So I've got a background here. It's always handy to have. Always handy to have. What size block to swap? Wow. That's why I'm saying message me personally because um, let, um, oh, um, let me see. I started off, these ones are three and a half inch squares. And then the ones that you do the triangle, quilters will know this, is three and seven eighths. And then you end up with something 10 inch by 10 inch, but it's a, it's a little bit off. So one would have to make adjustments. <laughs> Hi, Journey, nice to see you. Oh, and there's a lovely chill too. Oh, Journey, are you sewing today? I know you love to sew. And there's Dixie, good morning, Dixie. Now, Dixie, you have, you've really been on my heart this week. You really have. Oh, come on in. So, yeah, let's discuss. Yeah, we can have a little chat about that. Ruth sent me this one. So if you have the skills, which I think maybe I do after this week, and you know how to do the triangle bit, you could make a star like this. That's got the same... This was made for me by Ruth. It's a little mini one, and I hope she doesn't mind that I've started to put little scraps around it in my amateurish way. Mm. <laughs> Janet doesn't make um, videos, um, Janet Canada. Um, she puts up um, pictures on the Facebook group, on the Facebook group. Mm. Oh, Carrie says she's been um, quilting this last couple of weeks because it's been way too hot to go outdoors to play. Oh, just sitting gently inside where it's cooler. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there we are. I'm building a log cabin. That's, oh, well, there we are. It sort of seems to come naturally. Oh, look, there's a fly and Fred's trying to catch it. Snap time, Freddy. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'll pop that there. So, yes, let's get, get some painty paper. I've got some blue. So if we do some a contrasty colour, there's not much on that. Let me just get my, this is my painting paper. And we'll just make, and it's nice, this, if you want to quilt, you probably know, a lot of people probably know this already, but you can, you can use this as a pattern. Oh, the purple and gold is quite nice. I'll try that. And what colour would go with that? Let me see what I've got. Let me see what I've got. And we'll just make a... This is my painting paper flow. Full of lovely painting paper here. Let me see if I've got any contrasty. Oh, um, gosh, it's very bright. Oh, that's not a bad. I want to keep that. 
I'm just looking through. Really, I'd like yellow. I've got yellow on the paperback, so I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> Cheryl, dear, you recovered after the dentist. Goodness me, because you're recovering anyway, aren't you? Healing rides to you, Cheryl. Oh, there's um, at work today, Sylvia, dear. Because sometimes you don't get to see us, do you? So just rip your paper. The, you can measure and maybe make one inch blocks, but I'm literally just going to uh, have fun and rip the paper. <laughs> I'm making a collage friendship star to go to be sent on a postcard. <laughs> You're finally over all that. Phew, says Cheryl. If I am missing you coming in, do Candy. Candy, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, I, that's, oh, lovely. Come on in. Are you snuggled up with the cats? How nice to see you. Let's pop that. Your brown paper bags, they make the nice scrunchy up texture for fancy papers. So what I'm going to put my glasses on, I don't know why, I feel I need them. Right, I'm going to, I'm just going to rip it into rough squares. This is purple and gold, it's rather nice. Oh, oh yes, I just put that little scrap in the bin, we can't save everything, can we? Don't know why I needed glasses on to do that. You're not working this afternoon. Yay! <laughs> oh, good afternoon. <laughs> Will you be joining in tearing paper and splashing paint and finger painting? <laughs> There's Susan. Oh, Susan, come on in. Oh, all the way over there in in the uh, San Francisco, nice to see you. So I'm just literally doing this quite quite roughly. We're building up a friendship square, a, a friendship star, um, Susan, because you've just come in. There we are. If you want to do it, you can do them in fabric. Or you can collage them and then it's a lot quicker to collage them, isn't it? <laughs> you can just draw them as well. Ripping and sticking, your kind of crafting. Oh, hi, little pickles. Do you know, I know I've watched your channel and I... Why do I not remember your name? Is it Deb? I, goodness me. I don't remember your name with absolute confidence. So nice to see you. <laughs> so nice to see you. Grab, grab a glue stick and come and join us. There we are. And then one in the middle. So yes. And I just thought it was... It was just so apt that Janet USA started talking. Oh, the contrast between the background, isn't that amazing? Celebrity. Talking about friendship stars. I love that. <laughs> right, I, or every time I have to look, who else is like me? I can't. Not yet. I don't. I haven't done it enough. I don't seem to be able to memorise it yet. Yes, isn't it lovely to rip paper? Gosh, this is so lovely. So I made the background before, and we can just send out a little. So whether you want to do a fabric one, there we are. And then now I'm going to. Fill in the little gaps. This is nice. It is a pretty pattern, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you for everybody who was doing the making ATC coins. And I agree. Uh, swapping 
with one another, the fabricated seas would be fun as well. Yeah, and then you can do some faux stick. You can take, you can mix the sewing. You can get the sewing machine on this if you want to. Cut, written, stick. That's your journals. I'm loving that. <laughs> I'm loving that. Yeah. Um, well, did you share it in um, Beth's? So quite often we share things from this stream in Beth's Facebook group. Um, Janet, Janet B. There we are. It's very rough shod. I'm going to just put that. It feels like this yellow one needs to be above there and all will be well. Yeah. And let's put that over there. Oh, just there. And then I've, I've made a friendship. Is it? Have I done it properly? Um, that one there, that one there, and that one there. <laughs> oh, Clint, good morning. So nice to see you. Kim, oh, good morning, Kim. Really nice to see you. Oh, come on in. So then let's put some faux stitching. This, this is a nice, relaxing, doodly thing to do. My Posca pens, my pens are giving up on me. They're exhausted. They say, you know, that they need a break. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what did you see outside, Freddie? We've got the door it's slightly open today. Was it a pussycat or something, Freddie? Oh, dear. Oh, did I? Maybe it was a cat just walked past and went down the side passage. Oh, not sure, Freddie. You've got the door up. Last week I had a blanket on and I was chilly, and this week it's just perfect. <laughs> not too hot, not too cold. Mm. Chuck it all down and see what happens. Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. Yes, someone was saying, I watched a video and they were, it was called Intuitive Art. I think it's, sometimes it's nice to have a plan. Who did you see? Was it someone outside, Freddie? Oh, dear. He does get a little bit pacey, especially in the evenings sometimes when he thinks that other creatures are in his garden. And then there we are. Look, I'm just putting some stitches round it as if we're, oh, hi, Kylie, nice to see you. Kylie Koo, nice to see you. Come on in, come on in. You're up in Scotland, aren't you? <laughs> oh, so nice to see you. There we are. I've just added some stitches there on that one. And I'm going to add some words. I need to add some words to this. I, I will continue to doodle and do some faux stitching. Oh dear, Freddie. I don't think it is anyone in the garden. Come and sit up, darling. Hello, Jennifer. Good morning. Oh, one eye open for Jennifer. I'm not surprised. Oh, and Renee's here. Oh, so nice to see you. Come on, come and sit up, darling. Come on. You, you don't want to go out in the garden. I do, Mum, I do. Come and sit up here. That's it. You have a re little relax. You have been out all day. <laughs> I'm going to look in the garden if you're not going to let me out. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's you. Put Kylie, Kylie's channel in. That's really nice. Thank you. Da. Da, did I say good morning? I think I did. I did. I did. I think that's going to have a lot more on it, but I think I'm going to put some words on there. Let me just get my little typewriter out and let's put some words on there. 
got a portable typewriter here. Oh, little Freddy. Mm -hmm. There we are. There. Yes, it's lovely. It's lovely to just all gather round together. <laughs> Little Freddy, he's, he's peering out. It's because he can, the windows, the doors, like, can you see the doors slightly open there? <laughs> oh, dear, flowers from the garden. <laughs> there was coffee cake but that all yesterday, but that all got eaten. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's see if I can get the paper in. It's very vintage, so it sometimes doesn't like to work. <laughs> it's Janice, it's a little it's 1960s, I believe. It's Olympia Splendid 66. The, it, the runner doesn't always like to work, but of course we just keep keep going. Keep going there. <laughs> it has a little mind of its own, and then you unlock it. And you can get ribbons. If you ever see them in thrift stores, you can get ribbons, new ribbons. Look at there's Marty <laughs> coming in with healthy snacks and with stacks of pancakes. <laughs> there is a sneaky something that little Freddy has got his eye on. <laughs> Uh, the coffee cake recipe that you posted over the weekend oh I didn't see that oh I'll have to have a look at that I am going to write friendship star do excuse the um one-handed typing sorry <laughs> The capital letters doesn't work, but that's fine, the shift, that's fine. I love it. And um, you can, if you haven't got a vintage typewriter, you can just print off typeset from the in, um, online if you want to. <laughs> Lovely. Else you want me to type out while I'm here? <laughs> Take a letter, Janet. <laughs> oh, Ooh, someone was saying about typing and learning typing. Who was that? Let me just see. Barbara, back in typing class, we had to keep a penny on the top of each hand. A S D F G F. Oh, no, I did do typing lessons, but I just find it easier. <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> it was strict, wasn't it? We go back there. If I miss anyone, let me know. Oh, there's the coffee cake recipe. Oh, what fun! What fun! So, I've got a couple of those just ready. Anything else you want me to add? Peace on earth. Oh gosh, yes. Yes, thank you. I do a few because it's nice to pop them on Happy Mail. Mm. Oh, Anne, are you are you there, Anne dear, or have you gone off to get coffee? Time typing test, yes, and I remember getting the carbon paper the wrong way round. Oh, I know, I did that. Yes, back in the day, the typewriter was bigger, but it was one like the before electric typewriters. Mm. <laughs> Times, I know. And you used to live in the middle of the road in a paper bag. My dad used to say that those were the days when you only had one lump of girl on fire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, I apologise. I didn't know you hadn't been well. I'm so sorry. Oh, yes. You take, just take time to 
heal and get over that soon. Gosh, yeah. This is having something from the trolley. When you see Anne, let her know because I just wanted to say thank you for the little brooch. This was the pin that was on that Becky did on her channel, and it's come all the way across the sea from Anne. Isn't that lovely? So when she comes back in and she's got her coffee, remind me to say thank you to Sue. <laughs> A bowl of steam. You are funny. <laughs> oh dear. It was type yeah, typewriter. We had it, we we were fortunate enough to have a really lovely typing teacher. He was really lovely. It was a girls' school and it was a man and he was just so kind, so he wasn't that hard. I was just looking because I did a, a boot sale, find a an old typewriter book. And you remember it. Do you remember they stood up in a V? Where did I put that? Ah, oh, I'm going to be like Mary and say, you don't want to see behind me. <laughs> and you say, we do, we do. <laughs> Carol, good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> I'm just going to tear that out. Friendship star. I love that. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that on this one because I've, I've put a butterfly on it and it's a little bit more ready than this one. So and that, that postcard then will be ready to send. There's Anne. <laughs> Anne, um, thank you. I love, I love this. It was commented on yesterday as well. Um, when I went went to Ben's, thank you. I love it. You can you can make these, Becky. There's a link to Becky's channel. Um, it will come up in the chat, and um, I can link it below where she was making these pins. I think they're gorgeous. Little scraps of fabric, but they'd be nice for to put on your in your journal as well. Oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 take it slow. It's going to take a while, isn't it, Sue, to recover? Gosh, and I've got peace on earth. Oh, fantastic. That's lovely. I always love to ask you for wonderful words. I'm going to put those there. Peace on earth. Oh, wow quite a few words on this one. I've got blossom and butterflies. I haven't got any blossom yet, so I have to put some flowers on there. Peace on Earth and the Friendship Star. So, yeah, that's going to go in the post. <laughs> and I will continue on this one. And then, because me being me, I thought, thank you, there's our Bex channel. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer's saying, no, don't do anything else. Nothing new. Don't want, I'm just learning how to crochet. <laughs> um, you're doing the Tuscan stitch, aren't you? I think our Becky might be, our Aunt Bex might be going to do something with the Tuscan stitch, maybe. <laughs> Teresa, good morning. Teresa says, blanket hellos. Mm. You did your typing course at technical school, Pam. Yes, yes. We were all, a lot of us were put down that road, weren't we, to, to, to learn typing. Mm. You're fine. Yes, yes. You're past the worst, Sue. So. Oh, sending you love. Mm. I thought I'm going to make some fabric postcards with the little snippets left over from making the quilt squares. I was left with these snippets here. And I made this fabric postcard. Can you see, you can vaguely see it. 
if it's not, you probably need a fabrics that are more high contrast. Anyway, and it's, it's, I just get it onto a piece of scrapbook paper. And I found out I'm late to the party because I have the scrapbook paper and the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. You're going to say, for goodness sake, Janet. Oh, now, oh gosh, do the maths for me. You know, you, you can get an, I'm just showing myself up now. You can get an even amount. You can get quite a few postcards out of a 12 by 12. I can't remember how many it was now. <laughs> because you do them four by six. <laughs> what am I like? Really? Oh, dear. So I do a scrapbook at the back and then I hand stitched this one. So it wasn't on the card to start with. I just took it into the lounge, Freddie by my side and just any stitches. Again, Karen, intuitive, like I didn't have any idea of where it was going. I just picked little bits and pieces. It's got a, this is a, this is our stream here. It's got our snack time and a little heart, the word joy and friendship. <laughs> if you throw a number in, I'm gonna send this postcard off because this is this sums up our stream. <laughs> to me it does. Mm. I am getting quite a good stash of fabric. Thank you, yes. I I I I'm generously given fabric which is wonderful it's building up yes mm. yeah <laughs> has that made you want cake <laughs> i bet it has mm. thank you thank you maria oh candy so nice to see you i'm going to look at chat while i'm doing this there's lovely melissa melissa last week when you said to me make a paper doll I didn't make one on stream, but you put the idea in my head and I was doing my doodling on my prompt picture and I made a paper doll. I'll show you later. <laughs> oh, dear. Michelle, good morning. Oh, no, you're putting one in for Michelle. Thank you, Janet. Oh, yes. Oh, good morning, Christopher. Nice to see you. Or good afternoon, should I say. Pop numbers in for other people as well which you are friends family mm, anybody that's a yes yes <laughs> oh lovely and i'll do that and i'm going to send this one off that'll be lovely because this just i think the friendship star sums up the stream sums up our community. It's not just on this stream, is it? We see each other at other people's streams as well. Just doing a bit of doodling there. <laughs> it's hard to stop, isn't it? Oh, Michelle's in the background. Oh, how lovely. Really lovely. That's really lovely. Yes, yes. If you are in the background and are not able to put numbers in, thanks, Alicia. Just contact me in some way and I'll send you some happy mail, definitely. Because sometimes that's all we can do is gently listen because that's the time and the stage in our little lives that we're in. Right, let's get um random number, random number generator and let's... Mm. And I'm going to generate a number between one and a hundred. Are we ready? Yes. There we are. Number 80. Who was nearest to number 80? And I will send fabric. I have to write everything down. Fabric postcard. And we need links to the link to the um quilting thing as well quilting writing this down can you when you are you able to tell me who was nearest to 80 Erin said hi hi Erin nice to see you Erin oh so glad you're here 
So glad you're here. I'm going to wait because the lovely people in chat um, are far better than me. Julia. Ah, oh, Julia. How nice. Julia, I will. That's so sweet. Um, that's so sweet. And Jens, you put that number in. Four. Did you put that number in for Julia? Oh, let me write that down too, Jens. Put the number in. Oh, guess what's for snack time, Jennifer? Um, my last box. I'm on the last box of Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> right. Oh, that was so kind, wasn't it? And actually, although Julia lives next door to Ben, I'm, I am going to post it because I think it's quite nice to have things coming through the post, isn't it, as well, that are not bills. So let that's that. So I'll put that over there. That's for Julia. And then I, I need to show you, oh, yes, how I start with the fabric. So. I just got tissue. This was in some new shoes that I got. And I thought, oh, I'm going to stamp on that. But you can use deli paper. And then I've got the little squares. And I made, I just tacked it with a little bit of glue. A tiny little glop, a dot. Because if it's, if you, it becomes hard to put the needle in if you put too much glue on. So I just tacked it down. And then I just sewed it to any piece of fabric for the fabric postcard. Yeah, I just sewed it on the bird fabric. And then the tissue paper just tears away so you can hand sew it. Or on this one, I did some machine stitching. And it's, there's not a high contrast here. This is the Friendship Star here. And I made it into a little house and I popped a roof on and there's a little heart and there's the sea. Oh, this is joy. This is me streaming when we went to the seaside. <laughs> oh, sorry, you fell asleep. Julia fell asleep. Well, that's fine because Jens was looking out for you and popped your number in. <laughs> you can fall asleep. I, I take that as a great compliment. <laughs> oh, there have been times when I have um, used certain channels to relax to. Like Beth's channel, for instance. Obviously, I watch them to join in as well. But if I'm finding it hard to sleep, I can put Beth's channel on. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so, yes, I made this is this is us at the seaside. So there's the houses and the sea and it made a little house. So that is the friendship star. But um, that, that was done on the machine. So you can hand stitch or machine stitch. And then I just stitched it to the back of the card. So, yes. What else have I been up to? So I'll remind me and we'll do a number for that at the end. Yeah. Remind me, though. So, Janet, you're going to do this. You're going to do that. Before we have our snack, let me show you the other thing I was doing because from last week's oh I've been so busy <laughs> it's kept me busy <laughs> oh dear kept me out of mischief um Jean it's so nice to have you back <laughs> oh you're catching up on everything at, at, at the house now because you were away for quite a while weren't you mm. I have um thanks Journey <laughs> it's kind of you. Oh, Patty, pop it on your list, your list of things to try. But if you haven't got much time, you can always collage one. <laughs> so the other thing we had was make round ATCs. 
and Aunt Bex did did one and she did her whole prompt page on an ATC coin and had fabric hair. It was amazing. Mm. Oh, thank you very much, Pickles. <laughs> That's kind of you. Mm. Oh, your mother used to say a little yawn is a compliment because you're relaxed and safe. Precisely. I totally agree. So especially if you're in Australia or you haven't slept well, yes, just relax back. We'll take a nice deep breath and relax. Mm. You were away for six weeks. Yes, it's a long time, isn't it? Yes, yes. You're getting back into your routines now, June. And yeah, catching up with your dog and your your um your son's doggy. <laughs> so I thought, as I always do, I'm going to make some fabric ATCs. <laughs> so I made the ATCs and I made them and I made little pocket ATCs, ATC coins with pockets. So they're two and a half inch round. I made myself a template using the compass I had when I was a little girl. Where is it? I'm not sure now. Oh, here. I got it. It was in my dad's office. I use it. It, this used to be my dad's. He was in the drawing office. Someone knows what time it really is. And then I used to use this when I was a little girl. I was sitting on the floor. It's a wooden floor and it's more cool, it's cooler for him to sit down. So I did a two and a half inch round. So I've just put, this one's got little gnome on it on the back and a little pocket, and that's the gnome's garden. And this one looks like blue, it's blue and lacy. Jean's saying a blanket hello to everybody. That's a really good idea. Jane's off to get another coffee. And that's got joy. Oh, and it's got a cupcake on it too. <laughs> so that's what I made. So just to make the pocket, if you, if you cut out three two and a half inches, you can do this in paper or scrapbook paper or fabric. And then with the third one, if you just fold it over, you have a little pocket. And so you can do your slow stitching on it or the machine or make them in cards. So that's that's that is what I've been doing this week. Oh. Um, Flo, have you got anything? Have you been making anything to go in these pockets? Oh, right. She's so busy. She gets so busy. She's a little bit upset, though, because I haven't. Mm. <laughs> Jen's, Jen's having a cupcake, a teal cupcake. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at this. Oh, these, these were the faux fabric postage stamps I made. And what Flo has done, she's put them on the little scraps of scrapbook paper, ready to go in the pockets. Oh, thanks. I was too busy to do that, Flo. So thank you very much. She wants a new dress because this is the one that Katie gave you and she loves it. But she really does like to have new clothes, don't you? Well, Julia gave me some fabric yesterday, so I, I will be making a dress. <laughs> oh, dear. If you can have something in paper, you can make it in fabric. There's our lovely Laura. Good morning. So, yes, there we are. Little mini postcards. So, to go to go in our fabric ATCs in the little pockets. <laughs> now, just this Laura, Laura's here. I was, I was looking for these faux postage stamps um, and I found this. I don't put this in a journal because I want to find it 
I will pop it away somewhere and then I find it again. The gift that always gives. This is beautiful. This is from Laura. And this is beautiful ledger, vintage ledger paper. And Laura wrote me a message. And, and it was a message for all of us. I remember think, reading it out on one of the hot videos. Travel on the inner journey toward peace. Follow the path of healing into wholeness. And Laura wrote that for me. And after the stream, I'm going to put it away somewhere. And I, I'm like everybody. I will forget where I put it. It won't be in a journal. It won't be glued. It'll just be in a, like a pile of papers or inside a book. And then I will find it again when I need to read it. <laughs> Let me read it again for you. Thanks, Laura. Travel on the inner journey toward peace. Follow the path of healing into wholeness. I thought that was lovely. Mm. <laughs> right, I'll pop that there. Beautiful paper as well. So yes, let me let me just pop these little postcards. Thanks for making these flow into here. It's always handy. Oh, okay, Colin. Colin says it's snack time. It's always handy to have one ready, ready made up, and that can go in here. So if I'm having Oh, you know, people think they've lost their mojo or I don't or you think, oh, I don't know what to do or I feel a bit tired or I know that I can just pick this up if I want to. And in there will be something I don't have to think I can just pick it up. And just so I do that with my paper journals as well. So let's pop all these to one side gosh that goes quick oh just to say if you then have still have extra snippets and bits don't forget you can always make paper clips with the scraps i just sewed a button on but i was use using up all those little scraps it's always handy to have a paper clip there's mary good morning mary nice to see you come on in i was saying how inspired i was by the fact that people were making atc coins and mary in her stream painted pictures of the queen on in um didn't you and ruby rose the Queen when she was young and older to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. That was wonderful. So we've, we've been quite busy this week making ATC coins, haven't we? There's Randy. Good morning. Nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, so don't forget with those little scraps, you can always make paper clips because they just come in really handy. Or if you're merry, um, you can make, you can use bobby pins. Mary likes bobby pins. The other thing I've been doing as well, you know, like people put confetti in um, Happy Mail. Becky put stars in my Happy Mail, which came in very handy. I've been cutting up the little remnants of fabric into fabric wonky hearts. So if someone, um, opens up their happy mail, you get it and they get like a little flurry of fabric hearts or paper hearts coming out. <laughs> Mary loves bobby pins. I used to have white bobby pins with my nursing hat on back in the day, Mary, back in the day. Let's have a snack. Let's have a snack and share, let's share what we've been doing this week. Share with me what you've been up to and what have I got? Oh, I've got my, I've got still got my Dorset tea. Had to buy it because I love the box and the sachets with the seaside on it. That will become, that would make a lovely summer seaside. -y. Yes, it's snack time. Where's Freddie? Oh, I said it. Snack time. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he was down on the floor. Where are they, Freddie? Come sit up on the chair. Look at this. Come sit up here. Look. No, I don't want to. He doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, he's going to sit. There you go. That one's from Cheryl. Put another one. It's a very healthy snack, isn't it? Very good for you. There you go. There's some more. There's some more, aren't they? There you go. Another one? Yeah, it's always nice. You can't just have one biscuit, can you? Right, come sit up here. That's it. They've finished now, Fred. They've finished. I'm going to put it up there. They've gone now. Come and sit up here, darling. That's it. You know you want to. That's it. Good boy. Oh, he's a doll. <laughs> ah. Right, let's just do this. <laughs> I know. Oh, dear. He lo I love those fish. <laughs> there we are. Right, let's wash my hands. And I'm going to make my tea, my Dorset tea. Let me just, scissors, cut the top off it because I think these are going to make lovely pockets. Aren't they? Aren't they lovely? Mm, he is lovely. He is. We're looking after puppy, little puppy. His, his fur cousin will be here for two Monday streams. How are we going to go on with a puppy in the room? I don't know, but still, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking about that today. It's in August. We will, oh, yeah. It, it is what it is. We'll just, we'll just see how we go. <laughs> oh dear. So, what have I got for my snack? Now, I've got my Girl Scout cookies. It says they are mint things, but I swapped the boxes because these are from Jennifer, and these, the ones inside, and. Caramel things. I've got caramel things. I wanted to make her a was it a flow journal I made you? I wanted to make that. You can make it into a signature journal if you want to. So that I because caramel things, caramel lights are your favorite. So I've got another box to use there. Thank you. <laughs> what is in Dorset tea? Oh. Well, it's the Dorset Tea Company, and I've got some black tea outside, but this one, Cheryl, is strawberries and cream. Now, I'm where we are, the, for our lovely friends in Australia, it was the first day of winter at the weekend for them. But for, for, for a lot of us, with late spring coming into autumn, it's strawberries and cream season here. Mmm, fresh local strawberries for dessert tonight. <laughs> mm. A cookie flow. <laughs> it was a cookie flow, wasn't it? And you, yeah, you can make it into another one if you want to. <laughs> so, yes, it smells nice too. Mmm, it really does. Smell of strawberries and cream. Mmm. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm. Really lovely. Right, I'm going to put that there. Mary's coming back in a minute. Oh, and before last week, I meant to show you this. Let me see if I can get it. It comes in two, and it's a coronation coach. A coron it was here, and I forgot to show you. The Platinum Jubilee, and it's made of metal, and the little wheels go round. And this was bought for my mother when it was the Queen's coronation. So it's 70 years old. Isn't it amazing? She actually went to see the coronation. Their, my mum and dad weren't married at the time, but she came down from Lancashire to London because my dad was living in London with his family then went to actually see the coronation so that that lives on my mantelpiece now she gave it to me oh, oh a few good few years ago karen yes 
watching Wimbledon and eating strawberries and cream. Yes, we don't want to pay the Wimbledon prices, though, do we? <laughs> I, I'm almost at this time of year. I like to have strawberries most days. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Jennifer needs some of that tea. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Mm. Pam says it was very wintry last night. Yes, June to August is very wintry. Excuse the rattling while I open my Girl Scout cookies. It's amazing, isn't it, Laura? It's it's on my mantelpiece. It's an amazing um, thing to, and it's quite delicate. So I'm so glad it went. Strawberry shortcake, mmm, to celebrate the strawberry season. Ooh, have you got a recipe? Let me write that down. Strawberry shortcake, strawberry, mmm, strawberry shortcake, mmm, is that more like a shortbread? Are the strawberries inside or do you put the strawberries on the top? That sounds yum. I've written it down. We could have that next week, couldn't we? <laughs> mm. Isn't it? Oh, look. Oh, wow. I don't need to tell you what caramel things are like if you, if you are in the States, but for us that are in Europe and Australia, oh, coconut and chocolate. Am I, have I got the title right? Mm. Coconut. Oh, gosh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, I think I need two. Mm. Need I do. <laughs> it is very precious piece of family history, isn't it, Margaret? Yes. Mm. Oh, Laura goes strawberry picking again next next week. We have strawberry picking here, and you can pick enough to make make um jam. Oh, it's lovely. I love it. It's really nice for coal. Um, there's no sugar in the shortcake biscuits. I oh I I would I'd really appreciate um your recipe, Susan. American biscuits split and filled with sugared strawberries and sweetened whipped cream. American biscuits split and filled with sugared strawberries and sweetened cream. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, what was I saying? Laura, it's really important, I think, and it's such a pleasure for children and young people and everybody if to to grow something and then eat it they love it don't they and we had an allotment when the children were young mm. 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 delicious mm. 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 thanks jennifer absolutely delicious <laughs> oh lovely mm. Mmm, how lovely. Thank you. Kathy C sent me some happy mail this week. Let me show you. <laughs> mm, samosa cookies. Oh, are they your favourite? Mmm, I haven't heard of those. I'm going to write that down as well, Candy. Mmm, samosa cookies. Mmm, we're coming up with all our favourite cookies now. Here's Kat. You're just in time to tell us your favourite. Cookie cat. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Mm. Oh, Karen used to grow strawberries. I've got raspberries in the garden. Um, ben bought me two raspberry canes. Um, I put them in that I've got a very small garden, um, urban garden, up next to the rhubarb. Oh, they're really, yes. Not a lot, but maybe six a day. So <laughs> it's just something about Picking, even if it's just herbs on your windowsill, just to be able to chop up some chives to put on your cheese on toast or something. It's lovely to grow things. Mm. Oh, that is the name of the cookie I am eating, a samosa cookie. Am I saying that right? Thank you, Candy. Things get lost in translation, don't they, between the English and American culture. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, yes, fresh eggs. Mmm. Mmm. Strawberry rhubarb from scratch. Oh, strawberries and rhubarb sounds nice together. Oh, I might do that. Mmm. You like the thin mints? Yes, I've got the caramel light today. I've got my Girl Scout cookies, the, the last of my Girl Scout cookies. It's not, That's been a real treat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Oh, key lime. I had key lime pie when I was in Florida. It's delicious, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we always end up talking about our lovely food, don't we, and our treats. What are we like? <laughs> Let me show you the happy mail that came from Kathy C, Kathy Cow. Kathy, I don't know whether you're still there, but what I there, there was a lovely card and a lovely envelope. Let me open this. First of all, there was a lovely envelope I've got oh I've got myself in a tangle here here's the envelope here I've made myself like a little journal pocket and this was the card that Kathy C you Kathy C was here earlier but may have gone now mm. you have the gluten free mm. Chocolate chip from Melissa, how lovely. That's a great thing to do, a blanket hello. That's lovely. And then that way nobody gets left out. And I agree with you. And there was a little pocket there and a little note from Kathy. So I made, I took some painty paper and I met, oh, I just love making little journals. You can never have enough little journals or notebooks, can you? So I just made it into a journal <laughs> just because I can. Oh, and I didn't even do the stick. I just stitched it with the sew. The sewing machine seems to just didn't even do the pamphlet stitch. I just sewed down the middle with it. Easy. <laughs> Hi, Shoshi. Shoshi, nice to meet you. I do. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. There you are. You're still here, Kathy. I love it. Thank you. And I will be thinking of you when I'm I'm using it. And the other, Kathy made me a mini journal. Isn't it gorgeous? I haven't put anything in this yet. And she said this is just in case I need some bling. So it's a lovely. I'm going to keep it on the desk, and I will now be adding to it. But there'll always be some handy bling. So if we get a prompt that says add bling, or well, I would like to add bling to one of the postcards, I can do that. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> it's lovely. Thank you. Isn't that the cutest? I love little things. Flo's got, got her eye on that. Would you want to look after it for me? You look after it for me. And when we need bling, let me know. So, yeah, thank you. So it's fun. Oh, I have had a lovely week with all the crafts. And, mm. Am I missing anybody coming in while I'm looking at this? <laughs> oh, Dixie. Sending you so much love, Dixie. I'll pop that there. Ah. Right. Just taking a lovely... Lovely bread. <laughs> I've got some things before we start our prompts. I'm going to put my lovely cookies there. Mm. Mm. That really is nice tea. So I'm going to pull oh, up, getting in the right mess here. The desk sort of explodes on a Monday. Oh, actually, and on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, most of the days. <laughs> Last week, when we did our prompts, Melissa, I, I did a paper doll for you on last week's prompts, Melissa, because you asked me to make a fairy doll, a paper doll. I made her into a fairy. So I do listen, Melissa. <laughs> Thank you for the inspiration, Melissa. I did. I enjoyed making her. 
It was. Thank you, Janet B. Thank you. The pa There's my paper doll. Thank you. There she is. Just cut up, cut out. Very simple. <laughs> very simple to do. The little paper clips I made came in handy because although she is a pocket, I don't want to lose any of this because it's very precious. I wrote last week. We were talking about how what we feel about art and how it heals us, and I wrote everything down from chat. And then in comments and messages, I also got all these. So I'm going to share these with you now because you didn't, um, you probably haven't gone back to read the comments. So I'm going to share those. The title of today's stream is Art Washes from the Soul, the Dust of Everyday Life. And Kat put that in chat. And of course, at the time I missed it, but when I went back, yes. Hmm. Let me let me read. I I found that, and I everything's just so helpful. That's that one. I'm going to type that in there. And if you want, I can write these on the community tab as well. If you think it's going to be helpful, mm. art acts like a container which helps hold us and keeps us afloat when traversing life's difficult terrain. Thank you for sharing that, um, Maria Kay. Maria has probably fallen asleep now because she did pop in earlier, but it's very late, very late in Australia, in her part of Australia. Mm. Art acts like a container which helps hold us and keeps us afloat when traver traver traversing life's difficult terrain. Hmm. Pop that there. Can't beat fresh eggs. We used to get those at the allotment. And then we used to light a fire and cook them. The boys used to love doing that. And this is a quote, another quote from Maria Kay. And it's from Alice in Wonderland. This, have you got this quote in your Alice in Wonderland journal, Anne? I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person. It's an interesting one. I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person. And um, this is Susan, Susan Lees. It's been in chat earlier. I don't know whether she's gone to work yet. Susan from San Francisco said, seeing Art helps seeing things in a way I never saw them before, expressing things in a way I don't have words for. And that's however, whatever we do, whether it's gluing, sticking, sewing, quilting, whatever we do, photography, woodwork, whatever, whatever form our creativity takes. Oh, and I've got a list of people's favourite colours because that was in the chat and I've written those down. That's always handy to know people's favourite colours. Paper clips are coming in handy. And another quote, the last one, is art is a wound turned into light. Art is a wound turned into light. So I thought I'd share those because I found them very helpful. And um, people in the background or on replay or in the chat might find them helpful too. Right, let's find a blank space and pull some prompts. It's just a way that we can spend time together when we do the prompts. We can chat in chat or just rest in the background. It, and it's not it's not about the end result <laughs> it's just about because sometimes thing the art look for, 
when I do it, for me, it looks like a hot mess, but I fill it with the words you've said and it's just a lovely memory for me. Mm. Yes, a wound. Yes, art is a wound turned into light, Susan. I know. Beautiful quotes. Thank you. No, thank you all, because I've got the ones you wrote down in chat all written down here, and these were the extras. Amazing. Right. Let's pull some prompts, shall we? I've taken last week's out. Mm. Sue, yeah, I. Sue says, when you're unwell, words are powerful. Yes, we, we feel quite vulnerable when we're unwell. I, I have, yes, I, I do understand that. Yes. Hmm. Hi, Zena. So nice to see you. You've got a professional singer in the room. So if we want to have a little sing song, we can. <laughs> so lovely to see you. Hmm. Well, I'm not looking. Honest, I'm not looking. <laughs> oh. oh, no, Margaret, thank, thank you, everybody. You're putting in your journal. I will, I can, I'll, I'll pop them in, yes, I'll pop them in, in the community tab, the quotes, yes. I'm thinking quite how I'm going to do that. It won't, but later on, after my walk with Ben, or message me, yeah, if you want the quotes. Right, let's let's have our first prompt. Oh wow, Paris! Gosh, Paris! Wow. Hmm. If you if you do, do your own thing though. And do them, you don't have to do them in any sort of order. I'm wondering whether I've got Paris on a napkin. I don't know how am I going to do Paris. I can always do it later. Um, Paris, how wonderful. Let me see. I'd like to say I keep my napkins neatly, but I don't, so I won't say it. Um, no, I haven't got Paris on the napkin. Wow, I think I must have seen somebody. Do you know? I don't know whether I have. I've I've put it down as a as something, and but then I don't think I have got anything with Paris on. But that's oh, I've got maps. I've got maps. Let me uh, let me. Let me just look at my stamps. I, did I have an Eiffel Tower stamp? Excuse me while I have a little rummage around here. Um, did I? But see, that just shows I can add it later when I have a look through a magazine or something. And that's what we can all do. Let me have a look through. Let me just take it out so you can see what I'm rummaging. Because it, it's mean, isn't it, for me to have a little rummage and you can't see what I'm doing. Here's my drawer that I upcycle. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I do have an Eiffel Tower stamp. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> feel sure I have a napkin, but I can always add that later. I'll make my own napkin. How about that? My own Paris napkin. There we are. I'll get some tissue paper and stamp on this. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Anybody ever been? Sorry, I've come away from chat, so I, I'm I'm hoping I haven't missed anybody. Who have I missed? Have I missed lovely Lizzie and lovely Vanessa coming in? Ah, good morning to both of you. Lizzie, amazing news about your daughter and her health. 
we you have so you've so been on on our minds you really and our hearts you really have and jennifer really lovely to see you mm -hmm. oh really lovely and you're probably recovering from that aren't you because gosh you, you take on all the worry when someone isn't well yeah i know that yeah so it, and you were with your daughter in the hospital at sometimes as well so there we are and it was lovely lizzie this is why i do the prompt game because when i wasn't well and i was in bed i used to listen to lizzie do the prompts do you remember that girl Anne? you used to be the um you used to moderate, didn't you? And I, I was I wasn't very well in in bed, and I used to look for. I don't know what morning you did it, and I looked forward to it. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely. Oh, of course you remember, Galan. Well, of course you do. You always used to chat to me. It was so lovely. <laughs> oh, but that was you know that was a that was another time. That was just for. We go through phases, don't we? Mm. There we are. I've got my glue. And I'm just going to, I've literally just done the Paris symbol on here. <laughs> there we are. Got my glue. And later on, I'll have a look. And I might be able to find a map or. I'll just do that for now. I'm happy. When you get tissue paper, it's always lovely. I always say that because I think it's going to come in really handy. Ah. You write them down and you put your own spin on it. Absolutely. Absolutely, definitely. Um, just, just do it if it feels helpful, definitely. And um, you can just make, use the prompt cards and, yeah, just do your own thing, chicken wing, absolutely. Oh, yeah, OBE wants in or out, but, yeah, and he has his medication, I know. It's busy, you're busy with him. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Laura. I used to find her and then Lizzie used to read to us didn't she at the end and that's it Sue words are very healing you take them when you're not very well you take them to heart don't you, you do oh. there's lovely Lizzie you go oh we all go through phases seems now yeah yeah dabbling in paint a bit now and again you're old but you've inspired so many of us with the slow stitching Lizzie and and you're doing the hats crochet and knitting the hats as well oh Lizzie <laughs> I just like to think of you are you in the recliner are you relaxing I do hope you are <laughs> oh phases of life definitely there you go I'm happy with that I put sort of a background of scrapey paints on my page so let's that's Paris ah oh, make a tassel oh okay mm. oh oh lovely you can make tassels with I used to watch Laura making you went through the phases, Laura, isn't it? Because do you remember you went through the phase making them with the metal and and that? And that made me have a go. You encouraged me to have a go. I'm looking for my fabric scrap. I'm looking for my owl bag. Here it is. My lovely owl. The more projects you do, the more scraps you have. Do you find that? Let's make a tassel. Oh, I think it might be easier if I get the fabric flow out. The fabric flow is next to flow. Oh, it was Alicia said to me, the reason 
Flo, Florence, is called Flo. It's because she helps us with our art flow. Wasn't that sweet? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's so true. We're talking about artistic phases, but we have ugly phases in our life and they pass too. Yeah, that's so true. And then beautiful moments return. It's so true. It's lovely that we're here for one another. Yeah, during for those times. Yes. Here's my fabric flow. And I've got this. This was from Laura. And I always make sure I have this as a template. It's the spool. I've got a spool die. So I'm going to make a tassel with these. There we are. I'm just going to pull some out. You can make tassels with metal or. I'm going to make a mess. Yes, I'm going to get everything out. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just going to put them like this. I have no idea. There is no right. I'm going to say there is no right or wrong way to do things. Oh, hello, Mariah. I've been oh, watching the replay from your Sunday morning stream this morning. Absolutely. Oh. Goodness me. Pam P knows her products, doesn't she? She really does. The, the, the crayons and the... I, I'm learning some crayons don't run with water. Artesia and... I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot from your streams. And they're fun too. There we are. Just all the... All the little bits and pieces of scraps, if you just wind them up and put them on something when you need to do something. This is lovely. So prompt two was make a tassel. How lovely. And it can be for a journal. What else have I got? I'll put some more of that on. Look, I think it could be different lengths and you can put they're mixed media. You could put charms in. Gosh, I'm enjoying this. Let's find a pin to put my tassel on. Hmm. Safety pin. Ah, there we are. Probably so many. Oh, this is what Laura used to used to use these and put the metal bits on, didn't you? Oh, Gail, is that Gail going? Gail, take care. It's been so nice to have this time with you you're you're off to look after Obi I'm sure yes mm. oh good luck oh oh Gail's going to the doctors sorry I missed that Gail you take care and then this is just how I'm interpreting the prompt I'm just putting it on a bulb pin because literally that's what came to hand. And then you could do lots of sewing and dangly bits on. I'll probably go back to putting some more bits on it later. Then you just need to tie it up. So that's my dangle. <laughs> And it can dangle, yeah, it can dangle from your page or your journal. There we are. Oh, pop it around like that. There. There we are. Just a little, little snippets of fabric. We don't waste anything, do we? Snippets of fabric and paper. We just don't waste them, do we? There we are. Oh, lovely. And I've got a clip there, the paper clip from the other side, because I've got a postcard on there. So I'm just literally going to put that on there. And we'll see. We'll see what else. If I can. There we are. There. I'm, 
loving this. This is the first time I've done um, a large magazine journal. I've been tearing pages out as I go. And now I'm thinking, oh, I love it because it's it's got all the bits hanging out and it reminds me of the stream. And I think, oh, I don't want it to end. Is anybody else like that with journals? And then I'm going now thinking, can I add pages? I've got a few more weeks. Oh, no, a few more weeks. Maybe I'll start to not take too many pages out. I usually take three. Mm. You're writing them down. Oh, absolutely no pressure um, to do do the prompts. Um, Cheryl, you do you. Do you. you? Yes, you do what you feel like doing because you're healing, aren't you? Yeah. That's lovely, Sylvia. I have got splash paint as a prompt, Sylvia, for you. Right. Divide your... Ah. Divide your page into shapes. That's interesting. We had that with washi tape the other day, didn't we? Divide it in, divide your page into shapes. I'm not quite sure what I meant by that. It, it's when I see people do things, I, I write it down and I think, oh, that's a really good, a really good idea. I think that's when I saw when people were doing that journaling, like Carol, when she'd got different. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to. I'm just going to cut things out, shapes out. And then you can just, or, oh, I'm going to tear it. That paper would look so much better torn. I think that's what it was. When, mm. oh, Kathy, Kathy C has just made the, the coin circles and is going to ATC coins, two and a half inch round, and is going to, going to slow stitch them later that's really lovely oh lizzie jer journey in chat is saying do you still need any yarn for hats it's hard at the moment because life has been a little bit on hold for you lizzie because of and now your body is recovering from the shock of your um jennifer being um, not well yes there was a style of journaling I think it was like watercolour and then doodled round and then you can journal about your day I think that's why I said divide your page into shapes so I'm literally just putting squares on I think there's no right or wrong. I wrote this and I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> oh, there's no hope. <laughs> it's Doodle Day on Wednesday the 15th with Lee and Lee's Art Studio. Oh, yes. I did a doodle video, but I just haven't been making any more video. Oh, I will catch up on that. And that reminds me, I was watching Pam's daughter's channel, Julia. I can leave a link below. Um, no, Lee. Lee's Crafty something. And I will leave a link to Lee. And she was showing her Peter Rabbit book collection and Beatrix Potter book collection. She's going to make a Peter Rabbit journal. Lovely video. And on the bookshelf were Pam, Pam in chat, her collection of vintage, they're vintage now, because the, the books are from the 60s, I had those ones, the Beatrix Potter books. So, Absol oh, absolutely lovely. Love Have you seen that video yet, Pam? It's really lovely. Right, I think the idea of these, I don't know, but I'm 
I've got some shapes here and later I, I can doodle on these and then do some writing in them. So that's how I've interpreted them. I'm going to save these bits because they'll be great for making envelopes. Hmm. Let's have another prompt, shall we? You haven't seen the video yet. Oh, it was. I got a notification this morning, I think. Oh, it's lovely. You'll see how your daughter is displaying the books. Oh, it's lovely. And some prints. How lovely. Oh, that's really interesting. I don't know whether I've got a picture of this, but we could go with the colour. Kimberly will be pleased. Moss. I must have been looking at something in a magazine and I thought, oh, how wonderful. Moss. Well, that's an odd prompt. Mm. You have to go. Your daughter was in New York yesterday and is coming back to visit for more. Oh, wonderful. I'll have a wonderful time. How lovely. Creating memories and coal as well because you're all on holidays. And John, of course, because he's retired now. Have a wonderful day, Laura. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm, I'm so glad that you could spend this time with us before you went to that. Let me just get a Q magazine because I've got a fighting chance that I will find a nice mossy picture. And if you haven't Oh, look. Oh, how funny. Oh, how funny. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't this one. Do you know, it's serendipity all over this room. It's amazing. Well, I never, if you haven't got that, one could use green, mossy green, lusciousness. Oh, lovely. That, no, I'm sure. This is a free magazine. You haven't had them for ages. It's a ball and it's it might be made of false, but it's moss. Do you like that picture as well? Look, isn't that lovely with them? Um, it's a classic picture and she's blowing bubble gum. That's funny, isn't it? You can see this magazine. Melanie and I used to love getting things from there. Oh, it's lovely. And they've got keys on the mantelpiece as well. Oh, that's lovely. I shall. Oh, it's lovely. I love that mantelpiece. I'm just going to take these and then I'm going to leave those keys because they'll be nice for little small ATCs or twinches. I've got a mossy, a mossy ball tree there, but you can pop green on yours if you want to. Let's just see if I've got a mossy tree here. Must be when I see things. Oh, how lovely. I always see moss on the sides of the trees up at Ben's. Mm. Alternative is use green. Absolutely. Yes, mossy green colour or any green. Or any colour. <laughs> I can't see, but I think that's amazing that I managed to find a little picture with moss on. <laughs> so I'm going to fussy cut this. Or oh, as Elizabeth this morning said, did she say kiss cut it or something? Yeah, just, oh, that was sweet. I'll pop that like that. There we are. And I shall put that on the side of one of these because I will be writing in here, no doubt. There'll be lots of things that people share with me that I can put there. Mm. This is having a sale on the 15th. That's lovely. I think you have one a month now, don't you, Lizzie? Mm. There we go. Oh! It's a Dutch artist, Vermeer. V Vermeer, the Dutch artist. Oh, I I haven't heard of 
I hadn't, I didn't know that. Oh, Marilyn, that's wonderful that you shared that. Mm. Mm. How lovely. Let's have another prompt. Let's see if I've got a charm to put on this. To put on this dangle. A bead of some sort or a button. I just want, oh, look, I've got a nice green. It's not mossy green, but it's a lovely green dangle. Just to get that colour in there a bit more. I can tie it on. I do like green. I think it, I think green goes with all colours. I just think of nature when I think of green. What colours go with? And I just think, what about the flowers? You know. There we are. Talking about flowers, just let me show you the flowers from my garden. This one's called Rosa Ragosa. They grow beautifully. Lovely bush rose. It's not an English tea rose. It's like more like a wild rose. They go beautifully at the seaside. Is that what the painting's called, Janice? Girl with the pearl earring. Right, Marilyn. Oh, look. Oh, that's lovely that you know that. <laughs> mm. That's that's a song, and moss grows under the rolling stone. There you go. That's our song of the day. You've had our song of the day. And Jean, here's our mug of the day. <laughs> We've had our song of the day. And we, I've got black currant sage here. The little the hot lips. I've shown you that before. And this is just to say that I haven't been mowing my grass, and I've got a little meadow outside. <laughs> and some buttercups from the garden. So it's looking quite wild out there. And we like it, don't we? We like it wild, Freddie, don't we? <laughs> it's the first time I've let my grass grow that long, but I, I don't know, we're just liking it. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I will either enjoy them as flowers or press them later. I'll see. Because the rose probably won't last that long in the water. They only last a day or two. Right, let's have another prompt, shall we? Hmm. Oh, add tea bags. Oh, that's interesting. Add tea bags. What have I got in the way of tea bags? Because I could continue. I've got some. I've got some my process here. I've got some here that are drying. I could continue and just keep on making a background. Or hmm, I, these ones make a lovely red colour. I've been drying those. And they're lovely red colour. Um, goodness knows where those are though. Um, let's have a look. Who I got? I like to stamp on them. Let's just see if I've got any that are open. No, I haven't got any that are open. So I will have to do this here with you live. <laughs> Let's empty the tea bags out. It's lovely. It's lovely to sew. Carol sews on her tea bags. Just make a little opening. Later on, I find where I stash the made ones that I've got. It comes out quite easy if it's nice and dry. There we are. It'll have to be something quite to show up on there. There you go. I'll put that over there. We're going to get in a right mess here, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, Janice is back. <laughs> oh, and another song, but that's not how it used to be. Does that carry on from that song? And I don't know it. Don't worry, our Barbara will send me a link to the song. <laughs> our song of the morning. Oh, on my playlist, I've got videos inspired by, by the... It's called 
inspiration from from Barbara, I think, the playlist title. And I just added one yesterday, and it's of miniaturists, all different types of artists who work in miniature. Absolutely wonderful video. That's some um, do. Oh, I don't know whether it will come out. I went to a car boot sale. I hadn't been to a car boot sale for two or three years. I bought one thing and I love it. Pooh Bear, private, keep out. <laughs> it's Pooh Bear and Christopher Robin. I would like that one. Let's see if it uh, it will show up on this tea bag or if it even works. I think I did have a, a little go with that. Let's, yeah, still singing American Pie. Is it? It's <laughs> still singing. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, art, music. Oh, we love it. Is that my, my Miss American Pie? Is, is it that one? <laughs> <sighs> Summer holiday with Cliff Richard. Oh, yes. We're all going on a summer holiday. Oh, I used to love that movie when I was little. I used to love watching that. Mm. Oh, and Cheryl says she's going to have that song in her head all day. Oh, did it come out that well? No, not really that well. But if I put it on a white background, it might show up more. Am I going to worry? No. Well, you will, when, even when you go, I shall be, well, when I get back from my walk from Ben, I will be I will be doing if I put that behind does it show up more no no I would say that didn't work but I will continue and I will find some tea bag and print on it <laughs> oh dear it's probably quite dark that one isn't it I think I'm just going to go with it and glue it down because that's what we, I did with you <laughs> Yes, that's it, Janet B. That's what we do. Yes, but people put out tables as well. It's because we don't have estate sales like you do. People tend to have car boot sales. Mm. And people that do house clearance take the stuff to car boot sales. So it's not, it's not that the house clearances are quite good, like for vintage books. Yeah, no, I'm really quite happy with that. It's not that defined, but. Let's see if Pooh Bear wants to visit Paris. Oh, look at that. Paris in the spring. We've got time for one more prompt, I think. Gosh, I'm going to stretch my... I'm looking at the next one. That's some... Oh, <laughs> strawberry rhubarb pie. That sounds nice. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see if we can put Pooh Bear in Paris. Ah, oh, there you go. That came out beautifully. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Pooh Bear is in Paris and we've just got that, that texture. The tea bag is there for texture. Let's cut that, tear that in half. So we've got shapes. So we've got the squares and the shapes. I love that. Mm. Oh, lemon when it's hot. Getting hot for you. Hot, hot at work, I presume. You've got air conditioning or um, fans going um, there. We're just right, aren't we, Freddie, today? <laughs> Beautiful weather, isn't it? But here. Right, pop that on there. Just, I've just used it as texture. I'm loving this. Lovely background. And, and on it, it looks quite plain. But on it, it's going to be filled with words that I glean from the chat and from the comments. I'm loving it. 
Lemon anything, says Alicia. Right, so our last prompt. Add a specimen card. See, I write these prompts and I've got it in my head. A specimen card. Hmm. I'm trying to think what a specimen card is. So it's floral, is it? A specimen card. Hmm. Janet, what's a specimen card? I've written it down, I've seen someone make it, and I thought, oh, I'd love to make like a slide. Like a slide. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to have to look up on, on YouTube specimen cards, and I'm going to have to come back to this. I've got some flowery pictures. I've probably got, oh, I've got flowers in my flowers and blooms journal. So I will probably come back to making later a specimen card, like a biology slide. Hmm. So I will find, wow, find a picture. Oh, could it be I made like a tag earlier? When I was playing before, I had to just rest and I was making the backgrounds and there was a little bit of scrapbook paper and I made a tag. Could that be like a specimen card and I could put a flower on it? Is it that sort of thing? Mm. Cheryl, she's not familiar with a specimen card. We're going to have to look it up, aren't we? I'm putting, yeah, a bit like a flea market um julia that's right yes yeah flowers or in insects use a transparency between pieces of paper yes that oh cat i did i saw that like a specimen slide i got some it's a little bit little bit needs up yes that's what it was oh yes so <laughs> We're not, when it's, oh, I still haven't pressed any more flowers. We're not individuals with teamwork here, are we? I love this. I love this. Let's get to, let's make a transparency. That's it, Cheryl. What you do is you have, usually one has glass and you pop an insect or a flower on and then you put it under a microscope. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. That's what I had seen. Oh, wow. And then like this, and I get a nice pressed flower. Oh, what fun. Yes, Alicia, like, goodness me. As my friend would say, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. I'm glad that you were all there. To... Oh, look. Let's put this dear little flower underneath the microscope. Oh, I love that. You can pop that on if you've got, if you do have it. You, I, that's it. The person used glossy accents if you have it. I have a little bit of glossy accents here. Let's see if it's working. You use playing cards to make yours. That's it. And you can suspend them in between playing cards. That's right. So we, we'll put a frame around it. Yes. Where did that? That's the thing. And Mary is making a transparency journal, isn't she? So pop that there. And if you use a glossy accent, it won't. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, wow. How wonderful. And then playing cards. Wonderful idea. Wonderful idea. I should just go to the handy drawer behind me. I'll be using these soon. We'll have another alt of playing card, won't we? Just open that handy dandy drawer and I will be cutting out a little frame to put that in wow 
Oh, I must have seen someone do that. That's why I love the prompts. Thanks for helping me. Get, pressing more flowers. Yes, just remind me. <laughs> I need to fill it up. Mm. The cards, you remember. Do you remember who did it on their video so we can give them some credit and we can go over there? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> we got there in the end, didn't we? You should see it from both sides. Yes. Carol, was it you, dear? I will cut a hole in both those cards and you will see it through it. Shall I do it now? So we see it while you pop the numbers in. I shall roughly do it. Beautiful vintage cards with lilac on. Let's just let's just do that. It's probably time for you to pop some numbers in. Was it you, Cal, who did the transparencies? See, when I do that, what I should do, that's it, you know, numbers between one and 100, and I was going to send the, the, the fabric postcard of our trip to Swanage when we streamed in the house by the seaside, and that's the friendship star there, quilting style. So let's just get a, obviously one isn't measuring. Oh no. <laughs> there, that's, if you make the transparency quite as big as the, I tell you, if you make the transparency as big as the card, you wouldn't have to do any measuring. Ah, oh, see, so this is why I love the prompts, because you'd think, oh, I don't want to get around to that. Oh, is it? Oh, Maria K. In, in um, replay, I have put the make fabric paper down in the prompts because we I saw it with Kat and, and and Maria was reminding me and asking me have you done it and I I said oh I haven't so I've written it in a prompt there we are sandwich it between betwixt and between oh look at those dear little cutouts they're lovely glue glue stick Ah, oh, oh, love it. Now, I hope I haven't missed anybody coming in while I've been making this specimen card. I'm glad I do the prompts with you and not on my own now. Thanks for putting one in for Laura because she's gone. Pop them in for anyone else. Anyone, anyone. Oh, oh, they're quite nice with the, um, because it's got the flowers on as well obviously it's a little bit yeah <laughs> there we are a specimen card wonderful <laughs> i love it <laughs> oh no sylvia's still here don't worry she's splashing paint <laughs> now add words and whatever you want to to yours splashing paint and And lovely absolutely lovely let's stick a, a hole reinforcer on there and we'll pick a number gosh I, i'm too busy <laughs> too busy to pick a number i'm really busy <laughs> you can make a pocket or hang it up oh there we are a little specimen guard i love it thank you gosh of course, that's a specimen card. Oh, now I lost the phone. When I was very first doing lives, I lost the phone. <laughs> I know Beth and Girl Anne would tell you. Oh, dear. Right. Generate a number. Is everybody ready? Yes. Number 96. 
Oh, Pam's got one in for Misty. Oh, oh, people are still coming in with numbers. Sorry. 96. It's lagging. It's lagging. It's fine. Hmm. It's 90. It's fine. It's nice to start the week. I tell you, Dixie, it's nice to start the week with you. Penny, Penny from Florida. Hi, Penny. Is it really hotting up for you, isn't it, Penny? Oh, so nice to see you, Penny. And to the lovely replayers, and also those that are gently listening in the background. Really, really, oh, what number did I say? 96, Journey. Journey with 96. That lovely. Oh, Journey with 92. Lovely. I will send the postcards off. I will go up. To, oh, I'm going to my mum's tomorrow. So I will I will do that. They just need postcards are great because they just need one stamp, but they still tell people that you're thinking about them, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. So gosh. Get in touch with me if you want to um, do a, a quilt, a friendship quilt block swap, bearing in mind that mine are quite wonky and beginnery, but um, <laughs> they're done with love. <laughs> right. So nice to see everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh, it's only. What is it? Ten o'clock with you, Barbara. Ten. No, oh, I've lost. I've lost count of what what time it is with you. I know that for me it's nearly four o'clock, and I'm going to. When I come from here, we're going to hop in the car, Freddie, and we're going to go out for a nice walk with Ben. <laughs> hmm. No, thank you, Barbara. Oh, Kimberly. Have fun in your garden this week. Keep watering those pumpkins, da. Take care. Take good care, da. Mm -hmm. Absolute pleasure to stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's 10. I get, I get so confused with the time difference. Yes. I know. Oh, yes. It, your central time. Oh, and it's 11 o'clock for Pam. Take care. You sleep tight, Pam. Nice to see you. And don't forget to uh, watch Lee's video on the um, Peter Rabbit. Um, you'll love it. Journey. Take care. Marilyn. Big hugs back. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Janet Canada. Nice to see you. Oh. Uh, it's been lovely. It has been lovely to spend time together. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you for coming. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it feels lovely that we actually, you know, we're, we're chatting, having cups of coffee and tea together and arting and sharing recipes and saying, oh, what does this mean? Or oh, it means this. And I love it. Mm. Oh, thank you. Um, you sent me the American Pie song. I wonder if it was the one I was thinking of. Maybe not. There's Rue. Oh, thank you, Rue. Karen, take care. Take care. Karen, make sure you get to do some nice ripping and gluing today with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> oh, Kathy. Take care. Thank you for the happy mail. And Anne, thank you for my for my pin brooch too. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> mm. It is, Kat, the best. The best start to the week. Happy Monday. <laughs> mm. Thanks. Yes. To everyone, says Jana. Um, be well. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. That's lovely. Vanessa, you have a good day too. And I hope your hands, your wrists sealing well, um, Candy. Um, Vanessa, and there's Candy. You're snuggled up with the with the cats, Candy. And you um 
Candy, have a lovely time with the children in the art class this week as well. Vanessa's posted the prompts. Thank you, Vanessa. That's kind of you. Thank you. Really helpful for people so they can find them. Mm. And love it. Thank you. <laughs> Alicia, take care. Take good care. Mm. Yes, have a great week. And I'll catch you next week or in people's chats and things like that. Yes. Yes. Dixie, take care. Hmm. I'll be thinking about you again this week, yeah. Right, well, I better put the phone down. No, you put the phone down. No, I'll put the phone down. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't like to say goodbye. Freddie? Fred? Fred? Where's Ben? Where's Ben? Do you wanna where's Ben? Do you wanna go for a walk with Ben? Do you? Where's Ben? Yeah? Yeah? Go for walkies. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh dear. He wants to go for a walk. He'll liven up. He's just very chilled. Shoshi, nice to see you. And I do hope I'm I'm saying your name right. Um so glad that you could be here with us. Bye Becky. <laughs> Happy creating this week. <laughs> oh Alyssa. Ah, uh, thank you. Alicia's reminding me. Now, Rebecca's on summertime. I'm not quite sure when she's coming on. So we can, I'm off to in the car to see Ben. But if, if maybe someone could put a link in for Rebecca's. Because if Rebecca's not on now, or in a little minute, she will be on sometime. Let's always keep an eye on. Ring the bell on Rebecca. So, because it's summertime. She's a little bit different schedule. Thank you for reminding me, Alicia. What a team. Mm. Yes, I'm not sure, Janice, is the answer to that. Have a good day, Janice. Mm. Take care, Lizzie. Take care. And your lovely daughter, healing from her operation too. Oh, Penny. Oh, little, he's got like little... Trainer socks on, hasn't he, Penny? He's got like the little white socks on. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. That's so kind of you. That's um Rebecca's link. So if she's not on now, um press the bell, click the bell, and you'll get notified when she's on. Oh, Margaret, take care. Mm. It's time to make another cup of tea, I think. Um, Margaret, for you. Have a peaceful week too. Mm. Ah, oh, as everybody goes out the door, I shall put my special, I need a pocket for that. Right. I better put this down. <laughs> Take care, everyone.